God's sake, stop to come get a Greg's and this is the queue. Oh, I just want a, a Greg's roll, mate. I ain't got time for that. Tamworth service is absolute joke, apparently. It's been about two months since I've been to this beautiful stadium. Usually, I'm a bit net about home games, but today, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it's going to be a great atmosphere. It's a big game against Brighton, who are a great side. And, uh, yeah, come on. Come on, the villa. Yes, people, today, it is the big one. It is the two now European giants. It is Brighton versus Aston Villa. Both teams last season managed to qualify for Europe. And you never know, come the end of the season, this could be a massive, massive game. I was really happy with our win over Chelsea. I thought this was going to be our chance to get our season going, to get us going. Obviously, with the poor loss against Everton in midweek, it's kind of brought the atmosphere around the club down a little bit. But today, that should hopefully motivate the players to up come the up the Villa. Brighton have only lost one game all season. They've won five. They've beat Man United away last week and they're on a really good run. They've got a great manager, they've got some great players, Estampunia, uh, Evans, Mitoma, some unreal players, a great manager and a great playing style. But today it's a big one, 12.30 back at Villa Park. I think it's going to be a high scoring game because we can't defend and neither can Brighton really. So I think it's going to be 2-2 today, but we realistically we could do with a win. We sit in sixth, Brighton the third. So both teams still doing all right in the Premier League, but let's get into the video. Let's get into the ground and uh, up the villa. We're here with John and Keith today, two Brighton fans. Um, John, what are we saying today with score prediction? How are you feeling about today's game? Um, reasonably confident. It's a big game. I mean, both Brighton and Villa are playing pretty much the same, really. They're both doing quite well, aren't they? Yeah. So I kind of something to say. I think he's probably got a draw written all over it. Draw, I said the same yeah, thing. Yeah. A bit of 1 1 or a 0 0. Fair enough. And uh, what are you saying about today? I think Brighton have got a lot to do to get their team right now that we're in, we're in Europe. So uh, it's going to be a hard game, I think. Yeah. Hard game. And are you guys enjoying following Brighton, obviously, on this European run? Obviously, you're coming through with these big wins against like, teams like Man United yeah. and Chelsea. Are you guys enjoying it so far yeah, this season? Yeah, it's a good time to be a Brighton supporter, isn't it, at the moment? So. Yeah. Absolutely. Exceeding expectations, really. So, so we've got to drop down at the Carabao Cup because we, you know, again, terrible performance, whatever. Mm. But we're thinking, you got four competitions, that's yeah. the one that's the one to drop. It is. Yeah. you got the other three. Do you guys feel the same way about that? Yeah, it's probably one competition too many, really. Especially with our first ever forte into Europe, definitely. Is that in the size of squads as well, I guess? Yeah, yeah. you know, it's yeah. around the size of the squad and that sort of stuff. So yeah. I think, yeah, if you had to drop one, you'd drop the Carabao, wouldn't you? We're here outside the Holland today. We've got Brighton vlogger Luke Lynx. Obviously, link will be in the description. Go subscribe to Luke. What's going to happen today? Big game. Both teams will be looking to push for Europe. Yeah. Um, both similar last season. What are we thinking today? Yeah, look. Respect to Aston Villa. We're both, you know, we're both smashing it. Let's be real. We're both smashing it. Today, I am hoping for a win. I know it could easily be a draw today. Yeah. You could easily win us again. You could easily beat us because, realistically, you are a bogey team. You yeah. definitely are. And, uh, well, I'm going to go for a 1-0 win today just because I'm normally positive with Brighton. And today, I would love to see a win against you guys because you've been smashing us lately. You spoke about on your channel. Any Villa players you're looking to see as a threat coming into the game? One man. DRB. 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 He yeah. looks incredible. He is. Really doing well for you guys. Has settled so nicely as well. He's one of those players that I've been keeping an eye on. He's a threat for sure. Yeah. DRB. So I, I, I like Brighton. Interesting team. But I want to know what it, what is it like? Because for me, coming in, Brighton, I've seen I've seen you play three times at home. You've always had a decent following. Yeah. But um, recently, Brighton obviously been picking up a lot of results coming into Europe. But what's it like going to Man United and winning? Going to Arsenal last season and winning? Going to Chelsea and winning regularly? Like I've been going to games for a long time, guys, and I've, we know there's some yeah. struggles on the away days. But you guys, you've, you've been doing really well. Like, what's it like following a team that's not as big as these other teams but can still get these results? Mm. Yeah, no, it is incredible. Especially, yeah, we didn't expect it. You know, uh, coming over a loss of West Ham and then going into United winning 3-1, then Newcastle winning 3-1. Didn't expect it from the big teams like them as well um, but yeah we, we seem to do we seem to turn up on a day against these bigger names yeah. we really really do um, now Villa I would say they're quite a big name now as they're in Europe again so hopefully we can we can bring something today but yeah we always seem to bring something about the big names it's always like I don't know like Zerbi always seems to bring the motivation coming I think maybe it's just the names that 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 bring us forward and bring the motivation to get a result out of it really Fair enough, and, uh, yeah enjoy the game today Thank up the Villa mate. hopefully Thank we're gonna you. win and, uh, yeah, yeah. Soon. big up man big up Going into the ground now, and uh, Brighton have actually only beat Villa once uh, since 1980, which is like 17 league games. Uh, so we've got a pretty good record against Brighton, so hopefully that's, we can keep that up uh, today. 
Final score predictions before we go in? 2-1 um, Villa. 2-1 Villa. 2-0 two two Villa. 2-0 Villa. Villa. Up the Villa. Brian at home, what are we saying today? Oh, no, 2-1 Villa. Uh, Watkins is going to go for McGinn as well. Watkins and McGinn, yeah. And uh, we just spoke about Wednesday night. Thoughts on coming out of the Carabao Cup straight early in the performance? We don't need it anyway. We don't need it. We don't need it. Focus on getting in top four of the season, that will do. Yeah. And uh, what do you think today? 2-2 probably, go for a draw. 2-2 go for a draw. And where are we going to finish at the end of the season? Fifth, seven, six. Or just in and around the area, yeah? Yeah, up and, uh, the villa. Up the villa, up the villa. Granddad, half time, 3 0 against Brighton. How good was that? Unexpected, I think. We played well, and I'm going to say and wish I hadn't, but I don't think Brighton have played as well as you'd expect them to play. No. They're trying to catch us out, you know, that ball over the top, try and catch us, you know, be the outside trap. But we've got them right now, we've got them where we want. The only thing Brighton have done is I thought they played all right in the first 10 minutes and passed the ball nicely, and then all they're doing is giving it to that Matoma on the right hand side. And Matoma's been pretty rubbish, I'm going to say. He's done, he's done absolutely nothing. Cash had him in his back pocket, but today we've just been unreal again. Another 12 30 kickoff like Newcastle last season, where we've completely trolled the game. How good's Kamara, Diaby, Watkins? Out, we've been really good. Everyone's been really good, haven't they? There's a good difference today. We're moving the ball out a lot quicker, and we're also mixing up long passes, like over the top ones. When they press us in against the keeper, we're then launching it over the top of them. So we're catching them out offside, just like they're trying to catch us out. Yeah. So it's gone well, it's gone well. Come on, Villa. Unbelievable first half, every single player, really, really good. Brighton haven't done anything. We could have probably scored a couple more goals, and I've got nothing else to say. Louise, Kamara, Watkins, Diaby, Cash, Conza, Torres. Everyone's been unreal that first half. Let's keep it up in the seconds. Come on, the Villa. Second half's begun. 50 minutes in, Brighton have scored. I don't know who it was, number 31. Completely marked to the back post. Um, yeah, 3-1. We're, obviously, we're still in control of the game, but a uh, good team, Brighton, so... Oh, let's not concede any more, please, and uh, there we go. 
Watkins on his hat trick. There we go. 4-1. Look at him. What a guy. He's back at his best. Come on, Ollie. I thought they were back in it. I saw God quiet. Oh, God quiet. Ramsey off the bench. That's 5 1. 85 minutes in. Wow, there we go. 6-1. Not much to say. We just absolutely battered. We didn't, to be fair, we didn't absolutely hammer Brighton. I actually thought they were all right. Maybe the scoreline was a little bit generous, but instead of holding back once Brighton scored in that second half and just keeping the league, we went on, we pushed and we got even more goals. And the team performance in general today was amazing. Watkins with his hat trick was really good up the villa. Uh, the whole team was really, really good. Kamara, Louise. Konza was excellent at the back and there's not much you can really say after that. I thought Brighton actually, to be fair, like I said, weren't actually terrible. Like, they went forward, they tried to have a few attacks, but we just were too good. What a time to be a Villa fan at the minute. I think we go to the fourth in the league now, go over Brighton, our European um, rivals at the minute and Wolves away next week. Bring it on, make sure you guys subscribe and watch that video next week and like the video and share around and up the villa what a day what a game what a performance and i hope you guys enjoyed up the villa